I'm a smiley well, darling in New Atlantis As I wander the blackness of the deep abyss My ship is in tatters, all dented and worn But I trust my old engine to get back by morn Way over in the blackness Way over in the void Way over, give me back to my true love As quick as an old asteroid Always happy to meet a stranger. Hope my singing was to your liking. It is, at that. If you believe the family tales, we've been merchant men and freighter captains since the days of the East India Company. If you like my singing, you should have heard my pops. Now he had a voice. Ah. Oh. And now you've made mine. I'm afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. See your travels. I feel like I know you. Yeah, sorry, I don't do autographs. Yeah? Okay, cool. Cool. Most people that come up to me just want an autograph for a picture. And after I've been modding all night, it gets really annoying. Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm just pretty bummed out right now. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing. And someone ripped me off. Total drag. I started playing music when I was ten. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me. And I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was fifteen, I cut my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. Feeling the music? Oh man, wow, that would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. The thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night, which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either songed or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. It doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. 
I got close to that state a few times, but the reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. See you on the flip. or whiskey please your space if you got the it. Lounge today I see I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price because when you work the bar your clients tend to be more honest than they'd like to be and besides information isn't a drink that you can sample Thank you for your business. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Either way, he's the one you want. But you didn't hear it from me. He's one of the usual lowlifes you'll find at Madame Savage's. He's also a very fervent admirer of Miss Borealis and her work. It wouldn't surprise me if that admiration extended to her possessions. For fans like him, trinkets and mementos are a way to get closer to the one they admire. Fallen Stardust. May all your journeys be safe.
Have you been to the Astral Lounge? Borealis frickin' rocks. Oh, yeah, I love her music so much. You're a fan of Borealis too? I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat. And I love her. Got a track in me head right now. Boom! 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 Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. Yeah, which is why it pains me to be here and not in the Astral Lounge. I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh... But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird's song deserves the best eye Aurora can fly. Lady, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. I didn't steal anything. Borealis always says her music belongs to her fan. So I just took what was mine. I don't know. I think it is. I'm not giving up this slate. Why would I part with the one thing that... No way. Some things come. Well, if Borealis feels so strongly about it, uh, maybe I should return it. Yeah, I, I do want what's best for her. She should know I appreciate her. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right. Okay, you can have the slate. The next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss out of my brain. You good? It's a bad place for tourists. I shouldn't be surprised. 
They can get pretty possessive. Does it matter if it's my things or my time? Yeah, it's not all bad. Love can be toxic, but can be beautiful. Sometimes people just confuse the two. But sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. Yeah, it looked like nothing was downloaded, but tampered with. I'm almost glad it was taken by a fan instead of a competitor. It would have been awful to lose that thing. I was working on a brand new concept piece about floating into the center of existence. I'm not feeling it yet. I'm still working out the last few sections, but eventually I'll give it a spin in the Astral Lounge. Thanks again for finding that thing. Next time, I'll try and keep an eye on it. Hope you enjoy the show.